What's up our bourbon fans? Homer and Amy are back to tell you what we got over the past few, however the hell long it's been, and what we put down. Stick around to find out in just a second. Hey guys. Well, I've been down for about four weeks. And while Amy was down, Homer went to town. Let's see what our haul was. All right, guys, so before we do that, we got, before we do the haul, before we see what was purchased, and almost all these were, um, yeah, without her. So um, if you go back and watch the previous video, she said, uh, she said exactly that. Let's, let's see how much he buys while I'm out. So let's see. Let's see how much we put down, though, because it wasn't very much. No, uh, obviously Amy is a big, uh, big part of the putting them down, because we only have six bottles to show you, but again, before we get into that, Amy had her morning recovery before we started, and I wasn't gonna have one because I didn't expect to drink too much, but why take a chance? So morning recovery for more labs. One shot, it's down. Next day, you'll feel much better. Yeah, I do. All right. All right, so what do we have that we put down? Or you put down? So what was put down by us, or me, we'll start with this one. Little John J. Bowman, Virginia Straight Bourbon Whiskey single barrel buffalo trace juice that was sent over to the bowman distillery and rebarreled i think or redistilled i think they distill it multiple times but it's uh just another john jay another buffalo trace juice single barrel it's hard to find this particular bowman john jay bowman is not that easy to find and a lot of people are looking for it so we is have it, it. it but i don't remember being this the best no we didn't really care for no that. no but it's down Whoop. it's gone all right one of amy's faves I did not you finish of. this or did I? I think we did. Okay. Because um, the last video, when we, the last one of the last videos we did, you said, why don't we have another one? And it's because I oh, didn't realize right. that we had no more. So, so no stranger to this video, to the put down rubber. That's probably our fifth bottle we put down. All right. Henry McKenna Tenure, a Heaven Hill bottle and bond. It's pretty good. It's, it's, it's also mildly allocated. Some places you can get it, some places you can't. Um, we can get it here on a, on a semi easy basis. It's not always on the like shelf. I feel like sometimes it is. It's not always on the shelf, mm -hmm. but I feel like it's a, around enough. Next one we put down. How did we get this one down? Because this one we hate. Um, hate is a strong word. Words, Don't like it. By making videos about what we hate. Oh. And um, making old fashions or Manhattans or. Did we finish this in the infinity bottle? It might have been, it went into the infinity bottle. Yeah. Cool key though. Yeah. Cool story, Stitzel Weller. You know, it comes from a great distillery, but all their great uh, bourbons are no longer their property. Wonder why. All right, next one. One of your faves. Russell's Reserve 10 year. It's a great bottle, $35, easy to get, always available. It's a great wild turkey product. If you've never tried it, you should, and you should keep this on the bar. That's a great one for beginners, for people who like bourbon. It's just good stuff. All right, last bottle put down. Another one of your favorites. Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit. Great one to make an old fashioned with too. I think this is one of the best bourbons on the market. It's, it's for every reason. It's not hard to find. It's not high priced. It's got a great flavor. It, it, it hits the spectrum. It's got good notes. It's got good spice. It's got good sweetness. It's got, it doesn't kick your ass with a burn, but it has enough burn to be enjoyable. Yep. Good bottle, good bottle, good wild turkey product. And we actually agree with that one too. Yes. So, not bad. All right. All right. So, so, like I said, that's the six we put down. Yep. Or me. Or him. Ah, a couple of them we shared. But so, guys, I went in surgery, uh, and during that four weeks, I had to have bed rest and then very minimum activity. So while I was down in my slump where I just ate ice cream and watched a lot of TV and don't remember a lot because of those drugs like prescribed. Homer over here had some um, visitors from House of Bourbon, Dave, which we all love. Make sure you go and check him out. But while that happened, he went out shopping. I did. So let's see how much shopping he did. All right, uh, before we get into that, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the bell. We really need you guys help growing the channel. And we'd love for you to be members. If you want to join and be a member, that'd be great. Hit the bell to get notified for any time we might do some random live streams or anything else. 
that might pop up, some of our shorts, catch those. And then the make sure you share. Share it as much as you can with all your friends and family. And uh, like, subscribe. Just comment and like, subscribe, share, all those things, and that'll help grow. And if you really want to get involved and be a member, we'd love that too. All right, now. And you never know when I'm going to give one of these bottles that he bought away. Yep. So make sure you subscribe so you know when we go live. Yes. All right, so. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna try to, right. try to do these in the less to more. After you bring me my old fashioned back over. Okay, there you go. Let me drink while you share. All right, so, I don't know if they can see it, we gotta pick it up. So this was a good one. Goodbye, sometimes you can't always get it. And Double Oak, wonderful. It's probably the best Woodford Reserve product made. Yeah. Especially, especially ones that are readily available. Yeah, Woodford, you can, is a hit or miss, but this one's always a hit. Yeah, and like she said, I say readily available. I feel like this bottle is almost always on the shelf, but there are times that it's not there. Yeah. So I'd say three out of four times you go to the store, it'll be there, but don't count on it. And if how you much need does it. this cost? That was, I think that was $69. Okay, so $69, not a bad bottle. All right. Yeah. Next, Amy's favorite, a replacement of the the last bottle we just put down, Wild Turkey, rare breed. And yes, she's looking at it funny because the that's a whole different label. The label is completely different. Oh my goodness. I wouldn't have even noticed. I wouldn't have grabbed it. I would have been like, I don't know what that is. I would have never grabbed that. So that's a new label. Yep. And you know what's funny is I already told her about that. It's a new label, but she doesn't remember because she was stoned out of her mind. Because I was down on surgery. So new label. Same stuff, 116.8 proof, just like it was. Uh, I don't know why they changed the label. I'll be honest with you, I like the new label better. I think really? It's I like the old one, I guess, because I just know it. And I'm not going to like go and grab that because I know that. So well, now i got to reprogram my mind. Is it, it, it really showed the rare breed on this one and took the wild turkey down. Well, the new one says wild turkey way bigger than the rare breed. So maybe, I, I don't know why they would change. Rare usually, breed is way more important to me. Usually the, the, the bigger name is the one they're trying to emphasize. Mm -hmm. So maybe they're trying to emphasize the fact that. Rebrand themselves. Well, rare breeds, everybody loves rare breeds really mm -hmm. good. So maybe they want people to start realizing that rare breed is a wild turkey brand. People are, maybe there's some non-bourbon people that know that wild turkey is a big deal and they say i like that rare breed shit yeah because whenever we refer to it we never say wild turkey yeah we, we just, just say, say rare breed, breed which everybody who's a bourbon fan knows what we're talking about but yeah. non-bourbon fans they don't know it's probably don't know it's wild turkey yeah bourbon. i would probably want my title of wild turkey to be out there yeah you're right <clears throat> all right what's next all right i had to get this one because the other one is almost empty and it was available at a retail price which is never well never not never it is not always available. And, and how much is that? That was $69. All right. And I think it's the best Knob Creek made, so. Knob Creek 12 here. So I had to get it while it was available. Now this is not for us. Yes, it is. I always oh, set the other one. Oh, this is for us? That's ours because we are about out of the other. The other bottle of your has made its way to the front drink now shelf. So it Oh, is, it has. So and do, is this something we want on our shelf always? I think so. Yeah? Just because of its tater popularity. Yeah. You know, and it, it, it was 40, And how much does this cost? Us? Yeah. $41. $41, is yeah. that good? That's, I mean. Is that a typical that's price? That's retail price, yes. Okay, so 41, try not to go over that price when you buy. Okay. All right. Oh, we just put this one down. It was in our empty bottle, so we replenished. Yes. McKenna 10. How much? 59. 59, and that's retail? Yes. All right. And this is one we obviously keep on our bar. I, I you think. You guys remember, I was not here when he shopped. Well, I think that this is one to keep on the bar, and since it's not readily available all the time, when I know the bottle is about empty or is empty, I'll get one. But I don't. And do you drink this normally? I don't think I drink it normally. Uh, I think it's a good rotation. Okay. Part of the rotation. Okay. Oh, this one I do know that we drink on a rotation. Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. Um, we do keep this on our bar. Yes. And it's we a good must one. be out. It's getting close Is to. Is that it? why you bought it? It's getting close to being out. Not out, but we bought one. It's getting close to being out, and Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel is not easy to find. And if you do find it, it's usually double retail, and we paid retail for okay, it. Okay, and how much was that? 59. 59 bucks. So you stay around there when you buy one. 
So she thinks I just buy this shit to get it, but it's a purpose. I am just letting our viewers know what's going on. All right. One, oh, one that we have to have always. Um, 1910 Old Forester. This is a great one to have. And we and do not have one. Yeah, at because all. It's we not went even out. almost gone. It yeah. is gone. It's been gone for a little while now. Um, so thank you for getting it. Mm -hmm. mwah, 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 mm. mwah. How much did you buy? 59. 59 again. So stay around 59 to what? 80? No, it's $59. $59. Don't go over. But um, here in Tennessee, this is a little bit more rarer. I think they're starting to pick they're it up again. They're starting to come back. Yeah, they're starting, <clears throat> to, they're starting to be on the 10 is the tens and 20s are starting to be on the shelf a lot more than they were last year. Oh, good. So and we have a new up. old Forester coming to town, right? Oh, you've got one. Look at you. Ah, uh, new old Forester, 1924. It's, it's a 10 year old. No, nice. I've heard job. mixed reviews on this one. This I've, just came out for anybody. Like two months ago. Two months ago. Fortunately, everybody else has reviewed it already and we have not. Yeah, I've been down. So, um, how much did you pay? Start with that. Wow, uh, this one was expensive. And this is retail also. Retail? 119. 119, but it's brand new, so brand later new. on it might drop. Hopefully, if they keep doing like it. The rest I've of, heard that I don't, it might not be a permanent, even though it's part of the Risky, Whiskey Row series, I heard it might not be permanent. Because all the Foresters pretty much are in that $60 range, right? Well, no, they kind of go up from the 63, 1860, the whatever. The, 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 the older the year, the higher the price. So, uh, and obviously this one's higher. So it's very dark. It is dark. I'm excited it's to like try it. It's like a coffee dark. I'm excited to try it. doesn't have a red or anything. It's got a black. So yeah, we're gonna have to do this one soon. Good job on that one. She also already knows that we have that. We've talked about it Guys, three I times. was on a lot of drugs. All right, another. Oh, uh, we have. She a, doesn't know about this one either. She, we have another old Forester, guys. Is this new? She knows about it. She just doesn't remember talking about it. So is this one new? It's the this King one, Ranch let, let old me, Forester. Let me explain this one. This old Forester King Ranch, and I don't know the history on it. I don't know how long it's been around. I don't know anything. I did not buy this bottle off the shelf. It was sent to us by one of our awesome members, Oscar. Hi, Oscar. Why, thank you. I, I'm totally out of the loop because I did not And he actually sent this to us from our last live stream. It was when he said he was going to send it to us. And it's been here right about when you had surgery. So it's been here about a month or more. And we have not acknowledged Oscar yet about it because we haven't had a chance. Well, thank you, Oscar. It says it's heavily charred barrel filtered through King Ranch Mystique Charcoal. This should be interesting. This is also a darker, maybe some amber in it. I'm excited about this one. And I really appreciate Oscar sending it to us. That's amazing. Uh, I, so I, we don't know how much this costs. I have no idea. We're gonna have to what, look that up. I have up. no idea what the availability is, the, the manufacturer, if it's still available, if it's still being made. I know nothing about this. Well, have this. you seen this on the shelf at all? I've never seen this on the shelf. Wow, I don't even Oscar. Know if it's, I don't even know if it was ever sold here. It might've just been sold in Texas. That is awesome. So I have no, I know nothing about King Ranch. So if Oscar. anybody wants to give us some information about King Ranch, go for it. Yeah, definitely cool. And Oscar must have sent it because it was good. Oh well. I hope. Oscar sent it to us because he's a good dude. Yeah, he is. It's from our green metal allocation. So this is our ninth bottle, guys. We're in our ninth bottle. You were actually bottle. part of this. I. Yeah. Helped. Oh no, never mind. That one's on there. This mm, is not from Green I did Metals. Not. This Four one, Roses single barrel barrel strength. This one I bought because it was at North Shore and uh, it was a different of one of Four Roses um, recipes. They have all their different recipes and I wanted to be able to, to compare the recipes. And the single barrel barrel strength up until now was extremely freaking hard to get. Is that new for Four Roses, this band? No, I don't think so. No? I'm just saying that. But things. she doesn't know this either, but every store I went to for the past month has had cases of this shit. And we've never even seen a bottle. And now oh, really? and then we bought one at the damn Green Meadow allocation cell and we every store I've been to after that. Isn't that how that had goes is when you're it. looking for something? Yeah. It's everywhere after and, you and, buy it and you for know an what? extreme amount of price. We got it cheaper too. Oh good. How much did you pay? We got it cheaper than we got it at the allocation cell. So we bought it twice? Yeah, I've got two of them. I told you, that's what I just explained to them. Okay. So yeah, we have two of them and they're different recipes. So they'll be different. You remember how they have- I wonder if they're gonna taste different. They're made completely different. They have different, they have different grains and yeasts 
strains and everything else. That's what those little numbers on the side mean. Cool. So they should taste drastically different. Not like a single barrel. Oh, so we're gonna um We're gonna have to try them. That's <laughs> why I have two bottles. Okay. To try them together to see the differences. If there's a drastic difference between one recipe to the next. Okay. Sounds good. How much did you pay for that? Six everything sounds like No, it's it was um I think it was like ninety nine. Ooh, hundred bucks. All right. It is the King's Toasted Barrel. Nope. No? This is King's Family Distillery, made here in Knoxville, not Knoxville, Pigeon Forge, Sevierville area. It's toasted Ambarana, which makes it super special. Why is it super special? Because the Ambarana is uh, a, kind of the popular thing right now. What's well, an Ambriana? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know what the hell it is. I just know it's popular right now. When we were at Christie's and the one guy's like, I'm going to get the Rio, it's the Ambriana mm -hmm. barrel. Mm -hmm. Well, this is the King's version of it. Well, Umbrana. when we pop that, we'll know more knowledge about it. What did they say? It looks like somebody just do Sharpie in yeah, it, Yeah, there's huh? a lot of them right on their bottles. Yeah. King's Family still here in Pigeon Forge, toasted Ambriana, uh, twice barreled rye whiskey. So this is even a bourbon. It's a rye. I like some rye. So I'm interested in trying that. I've been excited about getting the King's Family anyway because it's a local company. And yeah, it's right around the corner from us and we still, still haven't gone. Haven't gone. Yeah. All right, we got this one for you. I've been asking for another new riff. We have a couple on our bar, but it was not the one that, is this the same one? Well, the other one was the small batch. This is a single barrel. So it's the same thing, but it's a single barrel version of it. But it's not the same thing. It's the same thing. It's just a single barrel version of it. Okay. Instead of the barrels being batched together, it's just one barrel. Okay, well, new riff is one of my favorites now. It's a cheaper, um, I don't know if any of the new riffs are actually over a hundred bucks. Not that I've seen, but I'm sure they have special bottles. Yeah, so we haven't gotten into it. It's a newer bottle for everywhere. Um, so good. If you've not tried a new riff, open one up. I haven't had a bad one yet, and this is one of our favorites. So make sure you, it's a panty dropper. Make sure you so get she's it. She's always called it. i surprised you remember that. All right, so this bad boy never even heard of and our members so if you are not a member make sure you like and subscribe and um, pay the membership if you get a membership we do some rare zoom calls where it's just us um, and our guys our members told us to go and get this bottle holiday which to me is like back in the 50s so that's what it brings to me. Mm, uh, I don't, it doesn't do anything for me. It just, as far as the name, it's Rick House Soft Red Wheat. It's the, uh, they just a Missouri bourbon, and every one of those guys said it's you should try it. And a lot of those guys are from the Midwest, so yeah. they've obviously had it. And it just, I had just saw it popping up locally. And so when I saw one, I was like, yeah, I'll grab it. And it was only like 49 bucks. It was at Total Wine and More, unfortunately. But uh, no, no, wait a minute. I got this at McScrooge's. That's right, because I try not to buy it. Total Wine. Yeah, we uh, so Total Wine, we try to go to the smaller retailers. Um, small business is a big deal for us here in Knoxville, Tennessee. There's not a lot of us left. So uh, yeah, we got this one, and we're interested to try it. And I've, it's had a lot of um, good reviews, a lot of traction on the social medias recently. And they have, I haven't heard one person say anything. Not even like it's okay or it's. It's a decent bourbon, but there's better. Everybody that I have seen has said it's really good. So we're definitely gonna have to pop that one. Yeah. All right, this is a rare, um, not because of the bottle, Yellowstone um, hand-picked collection. This one came from one of our members also. It was sent to us by Gary. By Gary. So Gary um, did such, a, such an awesome gift to us. Um, we are flabbergasted. Uh, got it signed. By Stephen Beam, which, one of the Beam Jim Beam family, mm -hmm. who makes the Yellowstone. Who is part of the, the the president and distiller of this bottle. It was bottled for Gary's Rotary Club of Newport Ritchie, and they sell these bottles to raise money for their local community and donate. So, so we are just honored to mm -hmm. have this, and we can't open it. It's probably not going to get opened because no, we not. feel like. Um, we're honored to have it. But it's bottle 186 to 234. So uh, yeah, I'd hate to open it, but we probably will eventually. I don't know. Maybe we'll fill know. it up with like Maybe some Gary water. will come over and we'll open it. Yeah, but he lives in South Florida, so that'd be difficult. No, it's not. Get your butt up here. All right, and so what's next? She has no idea what this is. Master's Collection Woodford Reserve. Yes. 
So we've had this. 121.2 per We've had this at a bar and it was amazing. It was one of the best bourbons I ever had, which is what I said earlier about Woodford's kind of hit or miss. Are you gonna let me drink this? Yeah, yes. Even with the proof? Yeah, you're just not gonna drink a lot of it. Um, that's why we have stag because you like it and it's 130 proof. So this stuff's really good. It tastes great. It's sweet and it's still got, a, a, it's, it's with the proof, it drinks a lot less than what it is and it has a lot of flavor and it's a good bottle. And I got it at retail at North Shore and I like it. Do you remember how much? Yeah, it wasn't much at all. I, I mean like 89, 99, something like that. Keep under a hundred bucks. Okay, so Homer and I um, keep going back and forth on this. So it's a traveler's whiskey. We've never drank it ourselves. I've heard really bad comments on this and he's heard really good no, no, comments. No, 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 no. No? No, I've heard, I've had one person say it's their favorite. And that would be one of our members, Mark. And we love Mark. Mark's very active. He comments a lot and he interacts well and in a well, very respectful, disagreeing way, which I love. I love when people that don't, dis don't agree with us, but oh, he does I it perfectly. It. He doesn't cause trouble. He just says it disagrees and gives good points. Because we all have different palates. It doesn't matter what And he said like. that this is one of his favorite drinks now. And I have heard nothing but mixed reviews or bad reviews. I have heard nothing good, except now, for what Mark had to say. This is Chris Stapleton. Um, I don't think he actually had a taste in it. He just put his I don't know what he had to do with it. It says on here, what, maybe, uh, this is a first of its kind collaboration from Buffalo Trace Distillery. Traveler brings together the collective artistry of Chris Stapleton and master distiller Harlan Wheatley. So that to me makes me it sounds think like he, he was involved. He involved himself. But I, it's a blended whiskey. It's not a. Bur it doesn't say bourbon on it anywhere. And so it's ninety proof. It doesn't have. It doesn't. Doesn't mean. So it doesn't. Has it? Is it a year old? Is it six months old? It's not age dated. It's a Buffalo Trace. So they're never going to tell you what mash bill it is. They're never going to tell you the age date. They're not going to tell you anything. So and it's a blended whiskey and it doesn't say bourbon on it. So I would imagine if it doesn't say bourbon, that means it does not meet any. Not any, but anywhere from none to just missing one of the requirements to be bourbon because if it was if it made the requirement it would say bourbon on it i would imagine especially coming from buffalo trace well we'll just have to try it and see what happens yep traveler whiskey and how much did you pay for that 34 dollars. yeah so easily um it, i know that it just came out in the comments that i was seeing on my end was that so many liquor stores people were calling to see if it was out it might just be because of Chris Stapleton or whatever, but um, they are trying to keep it in stock right now. So, so people are trying to find it. It was at North Shore. And when I got there, they had it sitting in a display over on, up by the front door and they had three cases of it and one case open with a little display pop-up thing and there was two bottles gone. So, and then I've seen other stores locally advertising that they had it. Well, I, so, I know that a lot of people have been trying to find it, and I think it's probably just because of Chris Stapleton. I'm will, and, and Buffalo, Chris, Chris Stapleton. He's a country music artist. I'm willing to believe between with him being tied into it and it being Buffalo Trace, because we know it's everything Buffalo Trace makes stop. is allocated. So the people are probably attacking to get it, but it seems like with the way everybody, because nobody in town ever advertises when they get anything. They just sell it. Oh, they're, they're advertising. advertising yeah, yes. oh, they're advertising shit out of it, because maybe they expected it to... Go when and it's, it's not. not. I don't know. Mm. All right, last one. All right, guys, look what we got. I am very excited. Elmer T. Lee. Special thanks from Jacob and Deanna. And Deanna, his wonderful fiance, um, they came over to the house. All the way from. All the way from, from. Virginia. From Virginia, which we're so excited because we're gonna go to Virginia and see them one day because they got grocery stores that do bad giveaways. And we'll tell you that later on. But so they came over, we gave them a stag, we did a trade. Um, unfortunately, we didn't know they were gonna, they said they had to come quick and out and we end up talking for more than an hour standing in our um, hallway, yep. our door entrance. If we knew they were gonna end up staying that long, we would have gotten a video with them, but we did get a, a picture. Um, they're members of ours and we are so glad we got to talk to them. Awesome people, can't wait to see them again. But Elmer T. Lee, one of my favorites. At least that's what I remember. It's been when so long. When we tried long. it, you know, yeah. we tried it uh, almost 
no, it was probably it was less than two years ago, but it's been a while, and it we liked it so much that we've always wanted to get it. We haven't and we haven't, haven't had a taste it. of it. We haven't got a bottle of it. And I know a lot of people are gonna say you traded stag for that. And like, yeah, we did. Well, we have stag, and we've but been we, able to we get. We had two hold bottles of, of stag, and mm -hmm. we've turned a couple bottles down. And we've never seen this. We've never had it. We've never we've tasted it once. Well, and we we've liked seen it, so much. it for very high. Oh no, no, you're right. We've seen it, but not what we're worth. The five, six, seven hundred dollars. Yeah, but not for the forty-nine dollars retail. And what Jacob got it for? Am I allowed to say? Yeah. He got it for thirty-nine dollars. So we probably paid way more for our stag. We paid sixty-nine for the stag. Good trade on him. Um, so I'm very excited to try this, and I know it doesn't really matter the years that we've had it from. Uh, it's I think it really matters on how much other bourbons you've drank and how much your palate changes from then to now. So I'm anxious oh, yeah. to see if we like it or not. Because we have changed a lot. We have since changed we a tried lot. This. So, but we'll I will see. tell you, I do remember we tried the old Rip Van Winkle the same time we tried this. And we like this and way And we better. like that very better. much better than the Pappy. But yeah. I'm pretty sure this is the same mash bill as Buffalo Trace. And obviously Rip Van Winkle is a weeded mm -hmm. mash bill. So it's going to be completely different anyway. Because this is still a rye bourbon compared yeah. to and a weeded bourbon. Yeah, and since then, I have no, I was, I've not been, like I've always wanted a Pappy. But since trying it, I really have not wanted We kind of gave up on Pappy. Yeah. I mean, if we ever get a chance to buy one through an allocation for the like a 23 year for 249, I'll buy Just it. Just to have. Just to have it. Yeah. But I'm not going to be sitting, I'm never going to pay over secondary. No, it wasn't for that it. good. No. So, um, anyways, uh, yeah. So, since Amy's been down, Homer went to town. He did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, this 14, 15 bottles. And two of them I didn't pay for. Don't care. It's 15 bottles in four weeks. It that doesn't I was count down. if I didn't pay for them. They were sent to us for free. So, all right, guys, let us know what you think about what we put down, the six bottles or what we bought, what ones we should drink first, which ones you want to see a review of, which one you would love to have, which ones you think is trash. Tell us what you think about whatever. Tell us that you think we're trash. Tell us that you think we're awesome. Tell us whatever the hell you want to tell us. And I'm out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the bell, and uh, go check out go check out Gramco at gramco.com at DKNRocks20. And we appreciate all you guys who have went and purchased. Uh, yeah, there's been quite a few of you, so thank you. So those of you who haven't tried it yet, you need to. You're missing out. DKNRocks20 at gramco.com for a 20% discount. All right, y'all. We done? We're done. I need a refill. See y'all next time. That was a good one. It was.